Can't stand here all day. 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 Okay. Hopefully, it's a bit smoother now. Uh, let me know in the chat <laughs> how smooth it's looking. Um, I've got a window up there, but I can't listen to it, otherwise you guys will get an echo. <laughs> but it looks smooth. Everything seems to be happy chappy. So I think we're just going to go for it. Seems fine so far. Cool. Well, let's hop into some gameplay and see what happens. <laughs> Smooth on my end. Lovely. Thank you, why not? All right. Hello, and welcome back to Under the Moons. It is part four of our gameplay playthrough of Outcast A New Beginning. Thank you all for being here. Um, apologies if my coloring on my face looks awful. I spent so much time trying to get <laughs> my face not looking awful. Can't do it. The light I've got up here just... You know what? I think it's the orange hoodie. That's what I'm blaming on today. Orange hoodie. Silence. All right. I might try to just tinkle with it a little bit. What the hell? Oh. 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 I think it needs to be like blasted up, but I also don't want to damage the back of my Can't eyes. Stand here all day. Cut it. I know. All right. That looks a bit better. We'll just, we'll just deal with that. Hello, yes, welcome to the screen, uh, stream. It's going well so far. Anyway, where were we? <laughs> In our video, we were going over to uh, this location, bah, 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 marked on the map. And this was the closest uh, doka we had other than the one in Kazar, but that's just effort. So we're going there and we're having a little walk over there because I think that's far more fun. So that's where we're off to today. Just gonna turn the audio down on the headset, so you'll see a thing pop up at the top. There we go. All right. So we're back with Outcast. Did you guys see the Digital Foundry uh, released a video today, all about Outcast and its history? It felt like a very uh, <laughs> under the moon's video, <laughs> diving into the past and talking all about it and everything. Um, it was a sponsored video, uh, but it did seem like the dude uh, who was. Uh, whoop. The dude who was talking throughout and narrating and putting it together, I imagine, uh, did seem like an Outcast fan, so it's uh, it's good to see. First comment straight was like, Ooh, I see it's sponsored and you're not ripping it for performance, so therefore, terrible video. Rah, rah, rah. Chill, man. It seems like every time someone just wants to talk about this game in a light way, there's always just going to be like, just negative comments for the sake of it. Like, for instance, I put a, 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 vid a picture up of something I took um, when I was playing the game. And the only comment on there was oh, Outcast New Beginning come. sounds like a shitty title or something like that. And I was just like, what? <laughs> why do people, like, why do the worst type of people uh, tend to be the most common ones to comment? Like, it's, it's, I mean, I'm part of the problem. I don't comment and I'm not usually that negative uh, when I comment, but like, seriously, <laughs> take a flipping chill pill. All right. Trying to get the volume right. There we go. Need a bit of feedback on my own voice, otherwise I'll be shouting down the microphone most of the time. <laughs> uh, how are the audio levels? Does the game need to be a bit higher, a bit lower? Let me know. 
Um, from my reading, it looks like it could be a little lower, but it seems like we should be okay. Oh, you know what? We have a Gatondar to bring out. Yeah! Look at that! Suck it. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to show you guys the, the new upgrade I've got. I've got this shield, and you can run into people. Boom! It has made my life far more fun. Go to shield. Not too late, my friend. Okay, one more to go. Where's he gone? Two more to go by the looks of it. That was the third one. Oh, he's just lying on the ground. I must have knocked him for six. Boom! Uh, what are you using to run? It sounds great. I'm on the PS5. Uh, I'm doing this through like a cheeky way of remote play. So the console's there, computer's here. I could have done this by streaming from the PS5, but it was a bit crap, from honest. Like the PlayStation 5 streaming is just, just a bit shit. So I thought this would be a nicer way of doing it. And then I could do stuff like this. Oh, or this, or this, ooh, couldn't do that on PS5, <laughs> far more fun this way. Uh, anyway, what do we got here? Ooh, someone's very cool looking uh, desk here, very nice view. Magic, hey Adam, hey oh, he's back, Cortine's back, welcome, welcome, I uh, hope you're doing well. Uh, how's the vibe at the office? I hope it's all, it's all, uh, it's all going well because... Yeah, we're all still loving it here. Uh, so yes, welcome to the chat, everybody. Hope everybody is having a lovely Thursday. Tomorrow, I probably will be doing another stream and going late. Uh, my Friday plans, my friend was going to come over back from Italy, uh, but he decided that he was having such a lovely time that he changed his uh, his flight to a bit later. And he was like, so I won't be back in time to chill with you. So, That's fine. Have have fun in Italy. That sounds probably more fun than... <laughs> We'll just be watching Westworld Season 2, so... <laughs> so, yeah, just go with that. Uh, there wasn't anything else for me to catch in there, was there? I'm kind of just leaving it, but I just want to be sure there is. I can see there is an enemy on the map, but I couldn't see them. Sometimes they fall underneath the girdy when they walk off. Oh, is oh, this dude? <laughs> I, re I knocked both of them out pretty damn hard with my shield. <laughs> yeah, everything's great. We continue to work uh, while watching while watching play the game. Absolutely. Uh, I got the update today on the PS5, and it's all been happily updated. Uh, so, yeah, great work. It's 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 you know it's clear you guys are busy at work and everything. Um, and because there's a developer in the chat, we're all going to abuse that power and now flood you with all the recommendations we want in this game. <laughs> uh, I'm kidding. We're not going to do that because we're sensible, normal human beings. Where's photo mode? Give me photo mode! <laughs> anyway, uh, we continue on our trek on foot because, yeah, I'm, gonna, I I'm enjoying this world so much that I like to go on foot a lot. That's how we, uh, so we play this game. Nice. And I'm a big fan of doing it this way. I remember when I was playing, woo, when I was playing um, Red Dead 2, I was going to walk everywhere. And then, you know, after you've seen a lot of those landscapes, you're like, okay, fast travel. <laughs> Uh, I am not a gameplay programmer. All uh, you can ask me is that to add more vegetation or stuff like that. Okay then, you see you see this patch of grass here? Put a flower there. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm playing. Um, no, you've done a flat, blooming beautiful job. Like, uh, <laughs> in terms of vegetation, yeah, no, there's... <laughs> yeah. You, you Hopefully you got a good job um, when you come back to, uh, to work. Cause, oh! Ooh! Speaking of Red Dead Redemption, <laughs> this is very Red Dead looking. A square looking hut. Now, that is not a shape I've seen in Outcast for a while. Ooh! Yeah. 
We also love to do a photo mode, absolutely. Woohoo! We have got a diary entry. I've been loving these so far because it gives you sort of like lore drops of this chap who left the uh, Procreon or the university. Or I think, or maybe it was, yeah, maybe it was the other one. Um, but so, what do we got? So this one, I found the first one. Very happy about that. Um, oh, flip. The Art of Sankra. I can't remember which one. Oh, flip. Maybe it was this one. The Art of Sankra. Right, I'm going to try and do um, a, uh, a Talan impression here. On the 57th moon, I became a sculpture. It is true that on the very moon, I am writing these words. I have zero artistic talent, but on the same moon, I am writing the words that follow. And it is also true that I am the greatest artist that ever lived and revert reverted to the surface of Adelpha. All right, Anatog, let's bring it down a little bit. Uh, this is my latest experiment with Sankara, and it is a powerful one. I started with work. I started to work on that rock near the sand this morning on a whim, and the results look like Zort. I jumped from a pillar and reverted to perfect Minecraft on the very same moon. What's going on? I must have spent fifteen cycles doing that until my art turned out perfect. In only one morning of work, I kept my face hidden under a cloak, and no talent recognized me as their missing master of ceremonies. Um, Palana, that's where he's from. Palana? No. That's Procreana. It is Palana, yeah. Anyway, um, Marsh Sunrise. They all agreed I am genius sculptor now. I sold my rock to a shamaz who offered the sculpture to the Almayel in Kizar. He gave me enough Zorkins to upgrade my reels from Miss to Morags for many moons to come. It only took one morning of 15 cycles, and I haven't aged a moon in the process, but I must resume my quest. I will close my humble hut and leave. I live here... the hell happened? Hello, Martin. <laughs> did did my main light turn off? <laughs> Martin, you've caused an, an uh, you've caused a, a cut of. A, I mean, that, that lighting's pretty cool, actually. It's, it's a cool little vibe. <laughs> uh, interesting. Uh, oh, hey, Fabian. Fabian's here as well. You should have been a voice actor for this game. I would have loved to play some silly side character. All right, give me one second. I'm going to try and bring my face back into the picture um, this light is can be on a battery but i plugged it in so it wouldn't have to be jokes on me technical difficulties the movie streaming today starring me weird very weird hmm. well that's a bit concerning when you rock the plug back and forth and it starts working. Little concerned about that because that plug has uh, got a lot of things plugged into it at the moment. I don't really want to start a house fire. Not yet. Anyway, where was I? Uh, all with no technical difficulties. Nothing to see here. No, we're all good. Maybe you could use your electricity to activate my dough. could spawn into your stream. That might be it. Fire hazard confirmed. <laughs> all right, where were we? Um... Request, I will close my humble hut and leave. I live here happily long short. I lived happily here for the longest short time of my life. In my life. But the ancients await. And I start to feel their equal. My true place is among them. If only the visitors could hear the veil open today. I'd be ready to greet them. Anatok, on the 57th moon. I'm pretty sure... And I talk on the third moon. Wait, is this backwards? <laughs> First moon, third moon, 163rd moon. Once this all, I was going to say once this is all unlocked, it will make sense, but even then. All right, so we found another of Anatox's diaries. Very cool. Um, 
It's all locked down for the winter in there. Cool though. Ooh. Cool, almost see. Yeah, cool, almost see in there. So what do we got here? We've got a little shrine. Very nice. Can't steal anybody's uh, ancient relics there. We've got a fire. Is it a hot fire? It's a hot fire. You know, I like, probably shouldn't kill myself a little bit. <laughs> and we've got a beautiful little log girdy there with some steps. That's what we love to see. Okay, so... Ooh. <laughs> well, you can either go to the left and you're up the mountains, or you go to the right and you're up the mountains. Yep, mountains. <laughs> there seems to be a visual glitch going on with that shack. It's a haunted shack, so we'll leave it be. Uh, we're not going up to Palana today. So, we're going to walk across the... Oh, there's a path down there. Is that a better path? Yeah, that's the path we want to be on. Whoop. I love how much, like, just sort of little pathways there are through everything. Orwin, I actually managed to die in the first room in the game by jumping into the fire. <laughs> yeah, it has to be done, you know? That's the worth of a game, you know? If you get injured by fire, then you know you're in for a good time. <laughs> oh, goodness. Boink, boink. All right. Uh, Quarantine and Martin, did you see the uh, the Digital Foundry uh, video that got released a couple of hours ago? And if so, what did you think? Uh, Orwin, do you have a plan for today? We are going to this thing here and destroy the generator inside San O. Sano is getting his his generator destroyed. Neutralized, as the game says. Uh, not yet. What's this? It's a good video. It's it felt like a I've I've said it already, but it was like it felt like a under the moons video with a budget. <laughs> there was a few things that they covered that I hadn't covered before. Like um, I think they referenced the uh, kayaking game that Fresh 3D made. And how it used the engine they created for Outcast 2. Oh no! He got eaten! Oh wait. Are you getting killed or are you just. <laughs> oh no. RIP. Dang. And that could be got him. Um... <laughs> I'm sure you'll get much parry on, bless you. Uh, yep, it was really cool. Retrospective of the story of the team behind the game. Yeah. Uh, passion can't be bought. Bless you. <laughs> I still don't know how many how they managed to do their smooth pan shots. So I was talking to a chap on Twitter a little while ago when the demo was available. And uh, he was saying that there's a, a, a like a mod you can buy on Patreon that someone created. Like a, a camera for Unreal Engine 4 games. <clears throat> Maybe just Unreal Engine games. And it allows you to move the camera, change lighting, and, and add some like effects and all this stuff. So it is something you can just buy, plug into any game that runs on uh, Unreal Engine 4, at least. And uh, yeah, it allows you to sort of change little things like that, which is, is kind of interesting. Uh, I think we're about to get into a, a firefight here with something. Yes, it's the crab. I have not come across this one yet, and I was like, he's not unlocked in my uh, notes just yet, so. This is a fight worthy of legends. So, in the demo, I was very much keeping to the demo areas, and I said to my friend to try and get him to, to play. I was like, oh, do you want to play? He's like, yeah, sure. And I let him know, like, where I have and haven't been. Oh! And, uh, oh, gosh, there goes my shield. Um, oh gosh. But yeah, so I told my friend where I have and haven't been. So I was like, oh yeah, I'm saving for the full game. And so he instantly just went to areas I hadn't been, which was here. And that meant me seeing the crab for the first time. And I was like, kind of didn't want to see the crab. But anyway. <laughs> Alright, I need to just focus on killing one thing. There you go. Oh, 
right behind him for a bit. Diving in. Uh, oh, nice. Okay, we're going to project do some pretty shit. Project, yeah. A real proper photo mode is even better. A photo mode, sorry. Yeah, I mean, I think I think a lot of people are kind of like, well, obviously photo modes are pretty popular in games since, I feel like the PS4, I remember a lot of games doing a load back then. Oh, that was worth it. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I look at him stun. Oh, hey, we got him. Uh, I'd just love to see a night slash day cycle. Someone's still alive. Um, he doesn't know where I am. Yoo-hoo! <laughs> I need to do some proper weapon upgrades. So I can do some real damage. Actually, let's see what we can do. Um, yeah, Day Night Cycle would be cool. Uh, Ortwin yesterday uh, highlighted that because of the two suns, it's very rarely day, uh, nighttime on Adelpha. Um, so, you know, gets around that nicely, but it would be cool. But hang on, there would still be a night time because in the game, Liaz's kid said about how before the she the um, the spear was down, her fart lizard, Makari, uh, the Makari, you know, would go to bed at night time. That's where Yan would visit. So I guess there is a day and night in Adelpha. Just thinking out loud there. All right, what can we do? Uh, shield stuff. We can get some shield stuff there. I should probably upgrade my shield. I did kind of want to pull back on everything and get... Was it that one? Oh, bother. I'm trying to think now. I think I just want to... I think that's what I want to do. Yeah, I've just upgraded the shield strength. Okay, moving on. Uh, oh, and yeah, Ishka uh, talks about nighttime. Fabian will have to clear up wherever that's an oversight or intentional. Fabian, clear it up. <laughs> You'd be put on on uh, on trial here. I don't know if he's still in the chat. <laughs> he may be gone on with his life. Uh, oh, let's. We got a couple of. Uh, ooh, the fire ones. That's not good. I'm not sure I can openly talk. <laughs> I love that. You know we've uh, we're on the right track when Fabian can't say stuff. <laughs> let's let's try and ask uh, Fabian questions he can answer. Um, what other swear words are there in the um, Talan language in Agakamon? Wait, where's Agatha? I can never oh no, Agatha is that one. I'm gonna about to flip and die. I need to concentrate on what I'm doing. Just haphazardly, just willy nilly playing this. I don't think I've come across these um, these ones before actually. I came across these guys in the demo, but I've been dealing with sort of like the nicer. Okay, let's go deal with their little lava thing. Uh, well, one would be a spoiler for Dasan. Was that a spoiler for... For swear words? Because <laughs> we've heard bastard, which I went into, and, like, trying to figure out if they would have a word for, for bastard, because they don't seem to marry. Um, and I just figured maybe it just meant, like, to Talan having a kid outside of um, sexy party times. I need to remember all the Talan words for it. <laughs> Ow. Dang, they hurt when I tap it. Twonha is a good one. Yeah, it's son of a Twonha. <laughs> this is definitely dead, isn't it? Uh, there's also a word for shit, but I can't remember. Zort! You Zort! 
Yeah, we like swords. Yeah, Twanha gets used a lot as well. <laughs> like Twanha. I guess Bombar might be one. Hey, it's the horsies! Did you know that these horsies live up to 150 years? Neither did I until I looked up the info of it before I went on stream. I gotta tell you something weird. Oh, yes, big yawn. hungry or thirsty since <laughs> setting foot here. And that's not normal, is it? I mean, you tell us eat and drink, right? The foundation of Talan cuisine used to be Reese. And it still is for many poor people because it's so cheap to cultivate. You will find many Reese fields between Peter and Emiya. The people of Emiya will tell you the taste of Reese doesn't compare to Morag's. And I must agree with them. In Sapa, they prefer to eat Senecta. But that's because they don't have I don't think this is the question that, uh, this was the answer that Kata was looking for. <laughs> they used to import food from other regions, but have He's like, I think I might be dead. <laughs> I come not hungry. Is that a problem? And she's like, well, there's lovely food around, around, uh, Adelpha. That's such a, a chat GPT answer. <laughs> I, I think I might be hungry. Do you mean thirsty for knowledge? No. <laughs> okay. Well, I don't know what the odds did to me, but I don't feel the need to put anything into me. So oh, he's nothing totally dead after he's completed his mission, is isn't he? Quite convenient because I find that we Talons have a seventh sense that filters out too much unnecessary information, Ulakai. Um, sure. Got it. The <laughs> culture is so funny. Uh, it was fascinating to see how a game uh, changes over dev time. Things that stay, uh, things that stay in the game, uh, same for early on, and others that come in the last few months, or things that get removed, others uh, get added. A story for a time when we look back at this game from my future. Indeed, I can't look. Wait, for, I'm looking forward to those videos. Uh, Martin, I also created quite a lot of ugly, weird alien stuff on this project, such as the firecracker burrow, strange uh, liquid larvae, cracker eggs. Can't tell you what weird Google searches I had to do. Oh, also the lovely Galenta egg. Yeah, that Galenta egg was juicy. <laughs> That's pretty cool, though. I'm doing seven. Okay, for health. So, what's the story um, behind the big uh, horsey chaps here? Because there's. I found like quite a few here. It's like they've lumped together horse, giraffe, and uh, the face is like um, what they called asolotl, a lot or something like that. The the precursor to a salamander. What are they called? It's like a combination of those three. <laughs> it's so funny looking. It's like 150 years, and they act like it. They're like, yep, yeah, I've been doing this for a while. They're beautiful. Axolotl. Thank you, Orwin. See what I mean? They have got like an axolotl looking face. <laughs> and then they've got like the working horse uh, kind of legs there as well. It's great. They're such a funny addition as well. Because I, I remember when I was playing this game, I was playing the demo. And I was getting footage for that countdown video as I did for like one day to go, two days to go. Uh, I was trying to find sort of like fun areas where I could sort of do this. This this was this is my photo mode by the way, where I try and get Cutter to be like, this is like for most games do this, you push him up a, up a character up against something. There you go, look at that. We've got a beautiful photo. Snip. <laughs> that might be coming to Twitter later on today. I might change trees and take another photo, but that's what I did. Um, 150 years old, but never properly growing up. A bit like us. Ain't that the truth? Still that 14 year old boy who was laughing at the the funny faces of the outcast intro characters. <laughs> You're coming with me, plant. <laughs> also, Carter's got quite like a good variety of lines when he picks up stuff and everything. Um, like, yeah, I have not really heard too much of like things doubling up, which I know how people are saying like, oh yeah, this is like a classic PS2 adventure game or something or PS3 game. I'm like. Yeah, not in the flipping variety of audio he's saying. Like, this is a proper, like... It, it, it's like you guys were like, okay, we have... We're a smaller team, but what can we do? It's like, we could do loads of lines. Like, let's just do that. We've got this guy in the VO booth. We're going to get the best out of him. Um, and in the grand scheme of things, I think, uh, yeah. 
the voices that has come a really long way, a uh, far yeah, long way from when I first listened to it um, to now. Because obviously you're so used to the original, but I'm completely fine with this chap. Absolutely, Woo. does a great job. This location, stunning by the way. Like I'm loving the, I, I, yeah, these kind of coral-looking trees. Absolutely beautiful with the flowers as well. Just stunning. And I really like this design here. Uh, on some of the other trees, it's a bit more noticeable. But where at the bottom of uh, the tree, you've kind of got these... It's almost like it's an infection or something that's on it. But it kind of also looks like a like a shielding or something. Or it does kind of look like barnacles as well, actually. It actually looks like ventilope skin. Uh, but this is the kind of stuff that I love. Because since 2014, I've kind of been actually in the background. Not really show... There you go, I've to dealt with it. I'm uh, not really showing anybody, but I kind of created my own little, um, like, kind of alien world. Very much influenced by Outcast, And I kind of just kept adding to it. It was, I think, when No Man's Sky was being shown off quite heavily. It hadn't come out yet. And I was like, oh, I just want to explore my own world. And I kind of created this idea. And the spooky thing is, I'm not sure. I might actually have the, the book in here. The crazy thing is... Um, the island or the landscape I made for where I would be exploring, it kind of looks like Ganzar shape. Really weird. Let me see if I can find it because I do want to show you guys. Uh, I just want to figure out where I put the book. It's a mess everywhere, by the way. Complete mess. Is that it? Yeah, here we go. I do have it in here. But yeah, so here we go. So this was... I usually date these, but this was like 20... Maybe this was like 2018, I think I drew this one. So let's get the map up of this world, right? Can we zoom out even more? Come on. Are you ready? Ooh, okay, that's that's yeah. <laughs> All right, let's play with the the brightness. Oh god, that's not the brightness. Boop, 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 boop. Look at that. So it's got this kind of fatter part at the top, whoop, thin, and then fatter again, which is kind of very similar to um to Ganza. Uh, but obviously, I had no way of knowing that at the time. So I feel like uh, I'm aligned with the with you guys. <laughs> but yeah, I've done like sort of loads of pages of I've talked about kind of like vegetation and everything that's on this planet. Um, again, like so much of it is influenced from Outcast and everything. There's strange pillars that are left from a an old civilization. Like it's it's all my own flip on kind of what's come before. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's good fun, this. There you go, I've got these things that are called Surf de Son. That's about. But look, it's like... I need to just keep dealing with this light, but it's... Uh, whoop. It's like these deers that have... They're like blue deers, but they have these like long, sort of like whippish things that kind of... They're for picking up sound and stuff. Like, I... Yeah, so... I'm not walking around and just like focusing on these little details because you guys are in the chat it's because i freaking love this stuff and i've always tried to have my own go at it and everything um at the start of production it wasn't thinner in the middle yes and i know this for a fact because i've seen that original picture <laughs> i did a whole video on it didn't i <laughs> but isn't that weird though like how similar that looks where it goes like thinner in the middle and out again it's just sort of like yeah similar minds are clearly have figured out the best way for a, an alien island. <laughs> Mine in the middle was was um, was desert because that island sort of goes across the excuse me goes across the whole planet, uh, and in the middle is um, in the middle is the equator. So I thought like oh it's hotter in the middle. Uh, so my one's massive compared, but still really interesting. Um, we have this old concept map from 2021, which is still yeah thicker in the middle. Sun had a lot more islands below it. Indeed, yeah, it had, like, sort of loads down here. Um, you could help just build the world. Maybe for Outcast 3, if there is one. Bring me on. That's all I'm saying. I got ideas. 
I'll give you one right now. So this was kind of so slightly based on the, um, based on uh, kind of Okar. When you walk around in the first game, when you walk around it and you hear the wind pipes for, um, uh, for just the wind pipes you have to collect and everything. And I kind of love the idea. And I thought, wouldn't it be cool if there were these flowers that looked like a hardened vine that just kind of coiled up itself, blooms at the top, but on it are kind of like these sort of cups, cups of mushroom, look like a fungus that grows onto the side of it. And they kind of burrow into the vines. And inside the vine, it's hollow because it's just sort of like a, the vines have curled up it. So it's something like, if I zoom in actually, it's probably gonna be able to, whoop. So on the vine, it's kind of, uh, it goes up and these mushroom looking things grow on the side of it, which birds also love because some saps in there. Um, sorry, it's a bit too close to my face. Anyway, and the wind blows through the holes in the, in the hollow vine. And the only passages the wind has to go out of are the holes that these mushrooms are bored into, uh, or these fungus, we're gonna call them. And that then creates like a whistling noise. So each one of these things has like a unique <laughs> kind of noise to it. There he goes, the animals. Oh gosh, like, these are the, some of the animals there. Got this aardvark looking, looking chap on this one. He's enjoying some of the nectar. And then there's like default bird there as well. But yeah, I thought it'd be like, I was kind of going more for atmosphere of like um, cool areas that you would find on Alien Planet. Uh, and they're kind of, I'm not going to keep showing the book because I just have to keep changing the thing, but yeah, love that. Uh, right. <laughs> and of course, we have the 2014 Kickstarter map. Or oh, when you love that map. Uh, quarantine, yeah. I uh, mean, the roof them. Haha. <laughs> uh, sorry, guys, less for you to explore, but it was too big to fill in those areas. Honestly, completely understandable. Um, that's one thing that. I think there's a lot of people might be sort of like, oh, they've, they've cheaped, you know, they, he's, he's going to be bigger and everything. I'm like, no, I'm just happy with what I got. Like, honestly, perfectly fine for me. And I don't think even in the speculation video, there was much there. Bidder may have been a bit higher, I think, and the temples are still there. So, yeah, <laughs> the plan was this. Everything was there that is there now. So it's, it's perfectly fine. Uh, seems like a smart move to reduce the dead space. Uh, Nice trees. Uh, I see you can uh, 3D uh, flipping heart emojis in the way again. 3D a bit and draw. What's your job? Is it related to art? Uh, yeah, I am a. Might as well say the whole thing. So I'm the animation uh, creator for a bunch of educational videos for this production company in the UK called ITN. And uh, yeah, I'm the animator, editor, all this jazz for that department. So it's quite fun because each video I get to make. I always push for like a new artistic style. So I was showing my um, teammates the, the toad I made today for a video all about how animals do math. <laughs> so I do get to dabble. And then in my spare time creating this, I get to sort of, you know, on this channel, I get to sort of dive in and do some stuff. And then my own, own spare time, yeah, I do my drawing and, and stuff like that. Like there's a, there's a really nice piece of artwork up there that I've painted, which I'm not sure if the camera Ooh, there we go. <laughs> eh. Eh, there we are. It's hard to see. But it's like a cool little flying scene or something. I've messed up the camera completely now. <laughs> I want to do like a, a show and tell stream or something. <laughs> Look at that. It's completely messed it up. And then whatever focus that is, it's probably not even focus. That'll do, a little more headroom, but is what it is. Um, but yeah, no, I've been a, a lifelong drawer and everything, and I've got a mind full of ideas, so. Yeah, bring me on for Outcast 3. <laughs> uh, thank you very much. Should we continue with the game? Enough of me, like, showing, show and tell stuff. Uh, a Gork! You may as well also do. Are you birds just relaxing in the air there? Got a little 
done better at killing these guys since the first stream, which we don't talk about. <laughs> right, that's them dead. Uh, wow, that's a big one. Got a few more of those to kill. Bunch of gammas, and I've come across the big, the big, um, big boy gammas as well. Uh, what have we got? Oh. Oh, there was a different type of um, Kamina in there. Cool. Yeah, Gamors as well. Which Get ready for a fight. I don't More think corruption. the Gamors have woken up yet. Oh, there they go. <laughs> oh, is that not work on him? Lovely jubbly. Oh, gork you, you gorky gork. <laughs> uh, Orwin. Um, don't worry, I barely even remember how you died to the community like five times. <laughs> uh, Rask, welcome to the stream. This game deserves more attention. Apps are flipping lootly. I have. Fresh done my delivery. best over the last several years to try and get as much tension out there but alas um, my channel and the algorithm don't get along uh, so uh, but if you're new to the channel uh, I'm positive surprised for it if you're new to the channel uh, yeah dive back into my videos and you'll see like a lot of outcast content and I'm talking a lot you can go back to 2014 there's there's stuff there <laughs> I've been a strong um, voice in the outcast uh, world since then is this where we are oh we're here nice oh, this looks like a big facility we're going in lads loving the flipping look at the uh the stones here very um i think the location they always film is in los angeles right yeah, that's where shatner had the fight with the <laughs> the lizard dude <laughs> thumbs up to you as well rask Love it, love it, love it, love it. Uh, is the Gork disgusting enough? Because I put all my heart and soul into it, uh, into this one, to give you the envy, <laughs> you the envy to destroy them uh, and purify the biomes. We do not like the Gorks. It is disgusting and gross because gotcha. it looks pimply and horrid, and I don't like pimples. So the less Gork, the better. And the sound design does does. Uh, Nothing to make it nicer. It makes it just worse. And we love that. <laughs> uh, Vasquez Rocks. Is that what they're called? Hello, Mr. Twonha. I don't suppose that you're Scoot, are you? Because I don't know where Scoot is. <laughs> and I've got his gi, apparently. So I'm waiting for a Twonha to sort of run up to me with a saddle on. And go, right, I'm, I'm Scoot. Right. I saw there was a Doka over there. But, yeah, I think we don't need to worry too much about that. Ooh. I wonder where this goes. Oh, come on. <laughs> Woo! Oh. Nasty stuff to create for a video game. Cool, Martin. <laughs> that should be a calling card. You want nasty shit? I got you, homie. Oh, what the heck? Okay, this is new. We've got this dude shielding one of the vanguards. You can't do that. That's not fair. Says the person who comes back to life. <laughs> All right. I know it doesn't work, but distracted for a couple of seconds whilst I charge up and. Oh! -ho -ho! Okay, this is a a well guarded facility, and we've got the um. Oh, that's not a scout. I thought it was the mines that fight you. <laughs> What the hell was that? We are in a new world of pain here. There's another one. This. Whoa! Okay. <laughs> 
But we got some melee, so oh, we're gonna use that. Oh bother! Oh, that's not going down fast enough. Oh, it's another elite one. That's why. This is a bit harder. <laughs> Everything's just elite in here. Oh, so I'm loving that callback to the type of weapon um, that the elite guy has here. Very um, high. Oh god. High oh, yeah. outcast. Normal high. Yeah, clear. Start my words. I'm trying to focus. Oh, there's so many things. There was a gun out here. I didn't realize. Oh my goodness, this is a bit more crazy as you come around the corner. Where's he gone? Hello, friend. Oh, my charged up bullets! They do nothing! Oh, <laughs> flipping heck! I am not prepared for any of this. These weapons, they are proper callbacks to the first game. I love that. And that scorpion ain't coming down the stairs, so you have to just... Oh, that's close. Okay, that's fine, he's just gonna hurt himself. I think he did hurt himself. Yeah, here we go. Alright, scorpion, where are you? Oh, that was the wrong button. <laughs> Get on the floor! <laughs> Little bastard. Wow, okay, yeah, this is going to be a bit of a, a fight here. Uh, Franz, I'm new to the channel, really like it. Outcast Originals in my top three best PC games ever. I'm 58 now, woo! Uh, been gaming on PC since 1992. That was when I was born, hell yeah. <laughs> well, welcome to the channel. Uh, we accept everybody here, except people who uh, go out of their way to hate Outcast. <laughs> I will not tolerate these people. Best work to the channel. Um, you probably got some lots of. You probably. In, whoa! Okay. Uh, think what controls. Okay. There's lots of videos for you to watch as an Outcast fan. I covered. Um, uh, whoop, in action. In relation to. Um, in relation. In collaboration with the devs um, for Outcast Second Contact, we were. Uh, me, Fabian. Well, a couple of others in, in, a, in a group were given sort of like cool assets to show people like this is what's happening in in, in a second contact that like we were able to show uh, plant life that was coming to the game and everything and um, so there's a couple of videos where we were able to sort of I don't know what I'm saying here basically there's lots of content on my channel for you to enjoy did I oh, okay I died then but there's yeah a couple of videos that are sort of breaking down Outcast in its world in the run-up to Second Contact's release, um, which was so much fun doing at the time. It was a great time to do that. Ooh. There we go. Okay, there's, there's a lot of stuff. This flipping guy. Uh oh. Let's try that. Perfect. Take that. That looks like my electric razor. <laughs> oh, I need another battery. Ugh. Oh, you know what it's time for? It's time for you to get the hell out of here. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Don't want any problems. I'll be safe in here, right? <laughs> Oh look! <laughs> Get out of here, you little fuck! Uh, these are more. Oh man. No air is safe. Oh, we... Ooh, look at this. Facility's big up there. Okay, I need to. Have I not got any potion or anything? I thought I had potions. I must have accidentally used them all. Oh, he's here. Okay, see you later, boys. I'm out of here. I'll come back. I need to get some plants. Flippin' heck. Just as yesterday, I think I was... Oh, I don't feel so hot. 
Yeah, maybe you have to. We got a bit close there. Let's uh, find some plants. An uncommon flower. Not what we're looking for right now. Um, lots of bounce ones. Okay, let's take a second. Uh, I'm 10 hours into it, I really like it. They've done a great job with it. Woo -woo. Yeah, the games are, I don't know how many hours I'm into it here. I think, ooh, a couple of one have arrived. I think I'm a good, like, actually on what on this save. Uh, 16 hours I'm into it on this save. <laughs> Um, there's a couple of other saves I read at the beginning just to explore a little bit more. Hello, chaps. Um, but, yeah. My, my playthrough count is going to be long. I've seen on YouTube someone did a whole, like, the whole game. Um, I'm not sure how much editing's into that. And I'm guessing they just, like, completely steamrolled it to the ending. Uh, and they would have to do it in something like 20 hours. But again, I'm not sure exactly how much of the actual full game there is. Um, but yeah, either way, it's a good, decent amount of time for a game. And the games I like are usually like 11 hours, but because it's a story, I'm like, yeah, the story's done. There's this. Like uh, Last of Us 2, for instance, that's a story game to me. Like, there's nothing more to that game other than, like, story. And that was too long. Like, I'm not, I can't really engage in a story for that long. Uh, so <laughs> my controversial thing about that game is just the length of it. Um... As with something like Outcast, where it's like, no, you are literally going to a new world and you're exploring it and you're learning about it. Like, you just get so much more out of a game. Uh, so this is, yeah. This is, these are the kind of games that I like being longer. Uh, Red Dead 2 as well. Like, another good example of like a, that's a good length for a game like that because you just want to explore that world more. Uh, reviews on Stream are great too. On Steam are great too. Much better than the ones on Metacritic. Good old Metacritic, eh? <laughs> Got some Camino there. You picked the wrong target, bird. Okay. Wow. Look at that. Leaving tracks in the snow all these years later. That's the one detail I always keep forgetting to talk about whenever I talk about the original game. Those madmen created a way of pushing the uh, the environment down, so you actually left like. I mean, these are more of like a texture, seeing that's like on the surface that have a could have a bump map in there, um, but they literally like deform the surface of the first one in the snow. It's crazy, which I'm guessing was like the footprints in that original one when they were pushed when they were laid down. It was a texture that kind of just had a height map to it, and then just pushed the to voxel surface. Whatever. I uh, love the fact you are often walking on the path and not rushing with it. Absolutely. I, I, I do jetpack once I've like explored somewhere, but there's just so many little tiny little things that have, you know, I just love to explore. And yeah, <laughs> if, no, if no one was watching me play this game, I'd still be doing it because this is just how I play. And I'm very glad that people aren't annoyed by that. I think in an early video I talked about what I was going to be doing with this game and its release. And even then I, I, I worried. I was like, my playstyle is very different where I will just sort of go and look in every corner. So I was worried that a lot of people might find it too boring. But hell no, let's go. I'm pro environmental uh, designers. <laughs> that is a big yeah, way down. This is going to hurt. Oh, look, and there's a flipping. Uh, I think all the way out there as well. There's two of them. <laughs> We're in a dangerous area. Um, you know me too, but it's it's kind of the same in Red Dead Redemption 2, right? Sometimes I love just walking. Absolutely. I mean, I mentioned it in one of my other streams, but I say that like people are going to remember because all the hours I've done so far. Um, but yeah, that was something I love to do in in GTA 5 when they added uh, first person mode to the PS4 version of the game. I love just sort of getting a first person and walking around that mode in single player. Because there was just so much detail in that world. Like people moving and walking around, the wilderlife when you got into the wilderness areas. 
that it was just really interesting to just explore uh, on that level. It's, you know, I think world building is sometimes not necessarily overlooked in games. But I think, like, so much detail is put into a lot of games. And, you know, the, the average gamer um, is just going to kind of... Well, I say average gamer. I hope it's not. But uh, a lot of them will just sort of pass by it and do whatever. And I'm like, look at the scenery. Look how cool that is. Like, the art direction in this area alone is... And a lot of people just thought, oh, yeah, that's cool, I guess. It's like, ah, oh, come on, man. We're trying this. Oh gosh. Slowly chipping away. Slowly but surely. Uh, on Steam, a couple of guys have played more than 100 hours. Hell yes. Uh, it's usually devs like me or Martin. <laughs> oh! We've got the artificial intelligence uh, booth there. Oh, no, thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> Two defenders. Did you guys see that? I'll charge up a shot. They're the normal defenders I can take them. Fly in and fly out. Woo! There we go. Mine now. Also, I will say, um, for people who are playing this on PC, um, and to not necessarily will look down. Ugh, you're on a console. Not saying that people do that. But I get to play with controls that have haptic feedback and are stickier and thicker. Like, when I do this charge shot, like it's then... Let me see if I get it on camera. Like, nice need to shoot down. I go all the way. Boom. And then it's like thicker. That's me pushing normally. There we go. That's me tap, 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 right? When I charge up and release, tap, 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 tap. It can't go down anymore. There we go. How cool is that? I'm so happy that they played around with that because so many games sort of don't bother. Get in. Um, and this game does. I like that. Uh, there was one game that <laughs> ended up breaking one of my controllers because it was getting so thick. Um, hardcore fans, I haven't slept since the launch. <laughs> yeah, geez, 100 hours. Uh, Orwin, I'm slowly on my second run and now it's 112 hours, according to Steve. At the moment, I'm more occupied with helping out people on the discord and finding them missing collector problems and stuff uh friends i see i think my playthrough will be around 40 hours i like to explore in the uh the areas in my games absolutely all right does it oh god yeah it's not safe in here where is it Okay, you can just you can just glitch up in the corner. Oh, that must get hurt. <laughs> or they take out your mom. Okay. Juggling. I'm trying to think what bad guys we have left. There must be some uh, elite defenders. My fast run took about 70 hours. Took my time and got everything to 100% though. Yeah, that's my my aim as well, to be honest. And I'm guessing, unlike the uh, first game, there won't be a lot. Of, there will be a lot of things that whoop, there'll be. It's a bit easier to keep track of what you have left. Get out of the way, mouse. Okay. What? Okay, I mis misunderstood that something. But I could. Okay, after this, I really need to update my um, weapons because I've not done too much uh, playing around with them since I put this together originally. Oh, okay, there it is. Is that the elite one? This is 
swear I took you out. Cheek. Okay. Uh, okay, the reactor's there. We've got... Okay, I've done that one. There's one... It's on the roof. Aha. Uh -huh. All the job there. But yeah, I'd be looking forward. I'd be really wanting to get into another game properly. And, um, glad it's this one. I think I'll try Hell Divers 2 next. That looks like a fun game. And um, my friend really wants to play that with me. So sure, I'll do that. But I said to him, it might be a while. We ain't done yet. Let's have a little bit of fun with this last guy. Oh! <laughs> no! Heck! Heck! I don't want to die. Dang it! We'll have fun with him in a second. Let's go get some uh, health again. Scour the wilderness. A smidgen of health there. <laughs> hey buddy, you've come back to the pastures to find some uh, find some health. That's cool. <laughs> uh, ooh. Yeah, I bet I have a bunch of stuff I can upgrade after that blooming fight. Uh, have to go. So hungry. Have fun playing. Thanks for stopping by again. Uh, it's been lovely having you guys uh, in here. I much appreciate it. Thank you so much. But, um, yeah, I'm not sure how late I'll be going uh, tonight. If we started at 7, I'll probably finish around 9, another 2-hour stream. That'll be, that'll be fine. Tomorrow, I officially will be releasing, uh, re-releasing the History of Outcast 2, the Lost Paradise video. That will be out, uh, I'll probably release it at the beginning of tomorrow's stream, which will probably be 7 again, I think. Maybe six then to see how I feel. But that will be officially released, and I'll probably put in a little playlist with the first one as well. And you can hear my little old younger voice, who's not completely sure of himself. <laughs> okay, I found literally no health. Verdict. Uh, anyone here who played Acronix? A a a this, this is the problem. So it's this. It's, it's quarantine. It's not your name. Um, it's just with words. I'm just terrible. Anyone play that game? The humor in that game is just as good as Outcast Original. It was done with the Quake 2 engine. I have never heard of that. At all. So, uh, I'm... Yeah. What's that about? Mr. Piggle HD! I don't remember this kind of jumping. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Piggle HD. How are you doing? It's so lovely to see you. It's been so long. <laughs> I very much uh, thank you for your support, Andrew. <laughs> uh, Martinez. Oh, another artist of the game spawned on the T chat. Oh, Sebastian, are you a part of the. Oh, dang! <laughs> yeah, Hell yeah! Useful. Welcome to the stream, Sebastian. I wasn't sure if you were. Did you. Oh, no, it was someone else. It was. I... I, I'm terrible at remembering names. I just go off of the profile page sometimes and yours looks similar to someone above. But yes, welcome to the stream, Sebastian. Tell everybody what what uh, what did you contribute uh, to the game? We've been Martin has been talking a lot, so has Quarantine, and we're loving it. Like the more this is the fun part about doing this stream and having you guys in here is that it's like a chance for us to sort of like talk to the guys who are creating uh, what is sort of like some of our favorite games of all time uh, like seriously this game is is already like i'll come back to this 100 percent. i'll be playing this again uh, weapons and environments lovely tell us about the so okay well i definitely have to talk about the flipping like this is like i'm never someone who really dabbles with like customize your gun but it's really fun in this game just because you can just see the effect happen so quickly 
but also just visually as well like when things are changed and like new additions come to the gun uh get added to the gun like or the front of it the side of it like just awesome just so satisfying to see it all click into place uh i'm actually going to see if i can unlock another one for this uh i can wait no i can't i need 10 more frick uh right but yeah these just look so satisfying so how early, I'm, I'm curious if if any of you guys are in this chat but how early on in the game uh was it decided that you'd be going for this kind of like two weapon system because it works really well like it's really cool having this modular system and i don't really play that many games but from what i do play of modern games you don't get this really here where it's like just two frames and off you go kind of thing like was that a, a quite an early on thing or was that kind of farther in further in yeah. uh, france i heard there were about 60 people involved in making a new beginning must have been many more does anybody know uh sebastian what a nightmare uh assemble all the modules i bet uh sebastian did a lot of work on all of the hard surf stuff so a lot of work on human bases for example ah uh, mr pig assuming this is just on pc it is not just on pc uh it is on everything because you can get it on xbox playstation 5 and pc that's everything i guess um sebastian yep very early on lovely so the the enemy the human bases is there like a modular set up to them um or is there is, is it kind of a bit more detailed because i can see like there's some base like this one that look unique but i'm wondering how much of that was like a, a module set up so some of the tunnels for instance you can walk through uh it's felt like it was module but i might be wrong but uh yeah let me know mr phd says surprise face wow this is this is the beauty of modern day gig day gaming now it looks all beautiful and it looked beautiful because the bloody team did a bloody good job. Like, you know, doesn't matter the size of the team. If you've got people who are really good at their job, it shows. <laughs> and it seems you guys, or well, people put together a really good team for this game. I have also started on the next video that I will be uh, releasing on my channel, uh, which is Outcast related. Although I'm going to keep to myself what it is. Uh, all unique with modular systems, but assembled by hand. Beautiful. I think because the, the cool, the cool thing about the modular system is that that's how it would be, you know. Um, and before I worked um, for the company I work for now, I was freelance and did. Ooh, is this snow just like chalk or something? I think it's snow. It's getting a bit too carried away there. Um, but I, I did this one job, and it was for a company that sold uh, housing for military people. I felt a bit weird. It was going to be shown at the Excel Center in a weapons expo, <laughs> uh, but it was it was housing for um, or buildings for like army people and everything of you know putting down bases and stuff. And that was really modular as well, so it's, it's kind of cool to see, like, yeah, it makes sense, basically. Like, it's it's not like, oh, this is such a, a way to do buildings in a video game. You do one asset and copy and paste. It's like, I mean, that's reality. <laughs> Come on. But each base so far has their own little unique thing. That just looks beautiful. <laughs> uh, I'm still on the hunt for uh, for health pickups here. Although I feel like I've got enough to take out the last... I feel like I've got enough to take out the last few though, so I think we should be fine. Oh, the Doka's up here as well. We'll unlock that. So, Sebastian, what things uh, can you allude to that may have... Uh, or, like, were taken out of the game? We were talking about before about the, the map that was uh, short in his size in the middle just because it was a lot of dead space. Which, hell yes, because I think that's the biggest thing that a lot of modern games who do open world. Not, not so much modern. I think people started to like figure it out, but so much, so many open world games just like so empty and boring. It's like, oh, here's the landscape part. There's just nothing here. Uh, as this game, it's like, no, the landscape is what's filling it. Like, we've got a forest here made of coral trees with the grass. It's beautiful. You know, this map feels like it's 
handmade, which I assume it was, especially with you guys talking about how much of this was hand placed. <laughs> Alright, let's go for it. Let's finish this guy off. It's so cool to see how the weapon modules work, blend together visually. Love the end result. Should have been uh, focusing on the game there. <laughs> uh, yeah, absolutely. I think once I've killed these guys, we'll do a little deeper. We'll do a deeper look into uh, the weapon modules. Who was shooting? Was it you again? This sucker's come back to life twice now. Scorpion found its way back up, did he? Get the fuck out of here! <laughs> Whoa! Okay. Okay, I need to get savvy here. What is killing me? Oh, for goodness sake, there's so much going on! Dang it. Alright, we got some. We got some Gandar stuff so we can. Stuff reset. Sebastian, have you got like a, a combination, a favorite combination for the weapons? Be very careful because there's a few one of these bot things up there. Ooh. <laughs> Really cool design on those suckers. All right, I think it's just the one guy left. I oh, know he's got his friends still. Well, we'll deal with you. Try me, sucker. Woo! All right, it's just you and me now, buddy. And you are destined to go over the edge. <laughs> See ya! Wouldn't want to be ya! <laughs> Let's finish it. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> Alright, let's get back up there before some of them respawn in. We don't want that. There's also one more enemy here. That is perfect. It's a job to wean him out. Further down, maybe? Yep. Okay. Wouldn't be in there, but they have still got locked. Okay, let's unlock this one. These bases take a good long time to to clear out, don't they? Ooh. Oh yes. But we're not done yet. Boink. Any chance for a PC mod that gives Cutter his original face or something like that? <laughs> Video I'm working on might have to do with that. <laughs> Just put it out there. Ooh. Are they up here? Yeah, I can hear it. Not today, sucker. <laughs> Music has relaxed, which signifies to gamers everywhere that we are now in the clear. <laughs> Apologies, I might sneeze in a couple of seconds. <laughs> We're good. We're good. Okay. Where were we? And. Alright, 
right, let's get down to that one because that's open for us now. What's in there? Hey, oh! Swear the human operative would come and frenzy. Killing enemies improves weapons damage and fire rate for a short duration. Interesting. Right, let's dive into the uh, weapon modules because I have been meaning to change them up. So right now, on my rifle, I've got a... I think this is a hardened shot. Charge shot. That's what the holding is. And then a mine gets let loose or gets dropped where the bullet hits. Then explodes for a bit of extra damage. And I've also got a helium saver as well. Uh, bunk. That's now open. So, yeah. Uh, Sebastian, if, uh, if, we're if you're still here... Um, let us know the secret to the modulation. Like, what ones should we add to our rifle? That's the question. Uh, Autwin, uh, it has been pretty easy to pull uh, models out of the game for 3D printing with standard Unreal Engine 4 tools. But not sure if it's easy to replace models, but might be possible. Uh, I'm talking about the original 1999 face. It would be great to see if it was possible. I don't even know what that face would look like in the modern day if we like just slapped him on him. It would, because our eyes are gigantic. <laughs> Um, there was the face they did for the for the Kickstarter way back when they did one then um, and I think the only image we saw still had like the visor over Cutter's face but you could kind of see like it was sort of more similar to the original um, I guess you got the 3D model from the, the intro cutscene from the first game that's kind of one to go off as well right so what are we going to add got a few ones that help overall like uh this one here there's a few ones that do uh kind of like almost like back-end stuff not so much the style but like what it does so we've got smart bullets for instance it will just sort of i think yeah homes of people which auto aims are doing quite a bit of that uh overclock core consumes a lot of lizzie to deal with more major damage um let's start from the top so we've got a machine gun this weapon can shoot while overheated at the cost of extra helidium. Ooh, that could be helpful. Um, oh, wait, I think I've already got... I'm using that one already. Yeah, I'm using that one already. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, we've got multi-shot. So that's kind of like a shotgun one. We've got a uh, heat shot. Increased damage gradually when the weapon is close to overheating. Interesting. We've then got the first shot booster. Makes the first projectile fire more powerful when the overheating group a gauge sorry is empty. Uh, we've gone through those. That's one we just got. Uh, we've got this dizzy one. Concussive shot increases the damage and chances of stunning droids. Uh, and then we've got the cooler. Improves the weapon's cooling down system. I'm tempted to add that one. Just because this gun does overheat quite a bit because it's a massive overheater one. So let's... Oh, look at that. And as you'll see, like, yeah, things get added to it. So I'm curious how, excuse me, my nose is clearly having a bit of a, a thing today. Ever since I sneezed, it started something. But when you were creating these guns, would, did you have to then think about the shape of it for like, okay, what could be added on here? So for instance, where it's getting added, you can see this kind of like that sort of divot in and out again. Because that must have been such a like, a, okay, well, there's, if we push this angle in a little bit, something can be added to it and all this stuff. It's, it's crazy. Uh, Martin, probably the smart bullets, uh, auto aim, the spray shot is one of my favorites. Ooh. Tell you what. Let's change this gun to that. Excuse me. Ooh, oh, God, I pressed a button. Let's go smart. Smart bullet. And you said the spread shot as well I've got a machine gun on there as well so I have no idea what that's going to be like that's that one woo god damn <laughs> alright we'll try this one for a while this might be wild uh, right, it's time to destroy the generator, which is in this building. Whoop! That was a... <laughs> oh god. I'm slipping through all the cracks. Let's get the 
rifle out for this one. There we go. And another canister of white helidium is seeing its way to a collection point to then send to Kizar. Ooh, there was something on top of that mountain. Mission neutralized. Hell yeah. That was thanks to our mole inside the WFA who dropped the shield for us to play with. Yeah, look, there's a building all the way up there. Hmm. That's not the highest peak, is it? That's one there. Hmm. What do you say? Should we go explore? Should we go up there and have a look? What are we thinking? Gotta go. It was nice chatting with you guys. Thanks for being here, friends. Um, yeah, thank you. Welcome to the channel. Have a nice little explore. There's lots of stuff there. Even if there's a topic that you've never heard of, maybe you worth pressing on that video because I try and make everything as good as possible uh, to my to as much as I can for one person but yeah thank you for being here and um, I'll see you next time under the moons friends <laughs> okay so what else we got we've got um, another drilling station we can take out which will help bidder um, and that one's also been lowered for us so we've got two to do there this might be a heavy um, a heavy base destroying stream this one I do kind of want to explore that but it's also quite far uh, I love how Cutter just stays uh, near this exploding reactor like any 90s action man would yeah they say cool guys don't look at explosions the real cool guys just stand right next to the explosions and maintain eye contact they don't even blink you know, they want their retinas destroyed. That's how tough they are. <laughs> uh, anything more to grab here? Uh, what did I? Excuse me. Ooh, very nice. All right, there we go. I'll take that. Um... That was the thing we walked into, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, we've done that. Okay, so we're going to go to the next base, uh, which is the drilling station, which is down here. And our closest doka will be in Bidda. So let's get to the doka and travel there. And uh, in case you're wondering, uh, yes, I know that I can just fast travel from the menu, but to me, that's sacrilegious. Literally. So, <laughs> we, we travel by Doka here at Under the Moons. Oh, there is a Gork over there. I'm going to take out that Gork. Then maybe we go to... Yeah, we'll go to Ema. Talk to THE Gork. Um, who is disgusting. <laughs> Although I kind of love... Poor Gork. I like how we just be able to monetize him, like he was a treasure hunter. He risked it all for treasure, that Gork. <laughs> and he found it, he found his treasure, and then got infected. And now his life is all about just consuming Gork. Like, he doesn't care about his treasure anymore. And that's kind of beautiful. <laughs> Alright, we've got some neck. Are these called neck? Get ready for a fight. More corruption. Yeah, these are my keys. Oh, it sucks to be you. Let's go for Marty. I am going to die because I'm not paying attention. Well, that was, uh, that plan didn't go well, did it? <laughs> Health. I saw you. There you are. Rounded down. Woo! Straight away. Uh, recreating the Doka for this game was one of the first assets I did on the project. It was madness uh, to see this asset created from some events uh, like Game Con 
seriously, that was so cool seeing the Doker in, in person. That was awesome. When I was there, I was able to meet a couple of um, a couple of you guys there. I, I'm trying to... Th I mean, I'm terrible with names. Face I'm a bit better with. Martin, were you one of them? Did I get to meet you? Like I said, I'm, I'm terrible with, with everything like that. Sadly. I'm pretty sure it's... it's uh, what do they call it? Flip. It's the PC word for... Like dyslexia and stuff like that. Camera. <laughs> oh, this is a flipping one. Yeah, we made each other. Ah, brilliant. Yeah, it was brilliant. Because that was awesome. I remember I just played the game. Ooh! I just played the game and Fabian was like, hey, here's some of the people who worked on the game. I was like, oh, shit, hello. <laughs> uh, that was lovely. So, um, yeah, it was lovely meeting you. I'm really glad humans are immune to the Gork. But yeah, Gamescom was really fun. I really like that. And I wish I was just like, it was in a better uh, headspace. Not headspace, not I was, I was, you know, I was sad or anything, but as in just like, I think I was just so tired. Like, it would have been awesome. I, th I think what it was, it was so loud there. I kind of hoped that I'd be able to sort of, like, it would be a bit quieter or something. But, like, even when I was in that THQ booth uh, on the live stream, like, we had to have headphones on to hear each other. It was so loud. Because uh, I was hoping to sort of, like, on camera, like, meet some people and everything and, and, and talk about Outcast. Um, <laughs> but it just ended up being so, like, hectic and manic. <laughs> and just, I was like, oh, it's so loud in there. <laughs> um, but, yeah. Like things I would love to, it would be awesome to come to the studio and say hi and everything. Uh, but by the sounds of the production, I'm not sure you guys were able to even have visitors. How hectic and, and crazy putting this together must have been. <laughs> uh, let's go to Ema first and we'll talk to the Gork. I think he's got a lot of money for us. A lot of Wonga. Finding a hundred pot in any village to, you, uh, to craft usual consume balls. In Dido. It's crazy being back here with this, um, being in the snow, and then all of a sudden, <laughs> I forget how beautiful this all is. Woo! It's not the one we want. It's down here. Yeah! And then along here. I feel like I know my way around this village uh, now. And there he is. Wait. Okay, I take that back. <laughs> I thought I knew where he was. Oh, maybe just be a bit, maybe a bit further. Yeah, there he is. I right, gone too high. Woo. We need to talk. Gork. Yes. Here you go. Fresh, stinky. Oh, I should have looked at how much money I had <laughs> before you and after. It, I always get a massive amount. Please. One thousand one hundred and forty-five zorkins. Do you know what we could buy with those zorkins? Some Twan Ha hats. Speaking of mods, come on, guys. <laughs> Ventiloper up there doing their job. Alright. Uh, going the long way around. Oh, steady. Round. Oh. Um, yeah, well, we have the dev team here. When is one I had? Yes, exactly. We need to pressure the devs into this. Did you notice some details such as the fact the Gork bubbles inflate? Well, the Cracker eggs have some kind of energy that goes into it and also makes them makes them infinite and look alive? Definitely for the, the Gork stuff. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> That stuff festers. Uh, cracker eggs, though. Um, do you? Oh, do you, the cracker eggs, or like, is that things you you pick up, or do you mean the like the funnels that shoot out of it? That's the glands I'm thinking of. Oh, cracker eggs. Yeah, there we go. Uh, yeah, yeah, hundred percent. They're revolting. <laughs> you did a disgusting job. <laughs> Oh, 
Yeah, even these things I was looking at before, like I was kind of interested because it's like they look, they're like stalag mites, tights, mites, I think, up from the ground, but like wooden. It's kind of cool. Cool little idea. Woo! I'm supposed to be going to the dough card. Come on. We gotta uh, go and do the thing. Woo! Hard turn. Uh, I'm going to Bidder and do the bases. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> but yes, Martin. Twan Hard DLC, Twan Hats. When is this happening? Also, Ortwin, if you can 3D print me a Twan Ha, I'll be very happy. Let's talk off stream. <laughs> and have you got the 3D printers that also do all the colors? Because <laughs> that's that would be amazing. <laughs> All right, let's get up there. Woo. Going on a little journey here. Woo. Off we go. Oh, you know what? We're also in the perfect location just to be picking up a bunch of health, which is going to be needed if I'm taking on a, a base, especially with the blooming drill boss, if it is a drill boss again. Can't which get enough of these plants. Was so funny doing that. I had it was just hilarious. Some of this drill was like, I'm gonna rip you apart. Like, ah! <laughs> I have one uh I have the one colour plastic type unfortunately. That's all fun, buddy. I don't suppose it's Twanha coloured. <laughs> I want a little Twanha to put little Christmas hats on. And more. Ba -ba -ba. I'm collecting these things. <laughs> yes, we are. And we probably sell it to someone, but I keep forgetting to go into villages and do it now. Also, the heads up display of like things popping up for us to collect is done such in like a really interesting way. Where in the first game it was this big chunky. I hate giant down. alien spiders. I don't suppose any of you are scoot. No saddle, no. Let me see what I do. That sounds more lively. Oh, and there's a bomb bar. Lovely. Which, I bomb bars and twan ha make some of the oddest noises. Hello, little dude. Like, the bond bars have got such a deep like noise to them a guttural noise that sometimes catch you off guard and then the uh, Twanha's new noise which sounds like an electric synth almost it's caught me off guard as well I'm like Whoa, what the hell was that I'm used to elk noises with my Twanha <laughs> okay let's get some levitation not levitation elevation oh lovely Right, that leads up to the mountain that has <clears throat> a little path we can fly down the root system on, so we don't want that. Bam! I see no Kamenai. I hear Kamenai. Go away, you batty boy. Uh, right. <laughs> One left. None of them can make it for the swoop. Okay, we are almost at our destination. Ah, oh, yeah. Carter reminds me a bit like a, a Buzz Lightyear these days. Don't know what it is about him. He's just got a bit of a, a, a spry Buzz Lightyear ness to him now. In a good way. Because I love Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> oh, 
I thought I was an animal then. Hello. I'd also just name drop another artist named Armin, who basically uh, was the Garandar of the whole... Sorry. <laughs> who was the gardener of the whole game and created almost all the plants, trees. Such a talented guy. Flipping beautiful. Did he work on Second Contact at all? Because when I was streaming that, a chap, uh, one of the developers from that game came in. He was on. He was helped out and created a bunch of plants as well. And I, again, I suck at just remembering stuff, uh, like names and things, but I'm just wondering if he came back on for this game. If not, perfectly fine, obviously. I'm just trying to think <laughs> a bit more openly. I proved to you guys that I do remember you all. <laughs> Couple more plants. I'd love to go in with one. Uh... Same contact. It was it was me. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, we go way back then. <laughs> oh, dude. I honestly, you know what? I just need to keep in contact with all the developers. I, contact with you, especially Martin. Um, and just like write everybody's names down, and just look over and over and over again at them. Then I'll remember everybody properly, and I won't feel so awkward. <laughs> Well, it's lovely to have you back. <laughs> Every time I play Second Contact, I, I always still think of the of the, the plants with the glowing fruits and everything. Uh, the growing plants are where Twonhaz and uh, Talan have died. I, it always just like, I remember you telling me that when I was playing that game. It's just always stuck with me since then. Math never stuck with me. Plant law on Adelpha? Yes, absolutely. Hey, I remember you, I remember stalking all you people's art station pages. <laughs> or when they're doing the, the right thing, in my opinion. <laughs> Lots of concepts are mirrored to some extent in the game. We love that. It's like a slight beeping I can hear from the facility. Alright, let's go in. I think I am going to make like a an Under the Moons Discord or something to have you guys in. I mean, I've got the, Out the Outcast Discord's right there. I should just join that and stop being faffy. Big silly. Alright. We are in for a battle. Oh, let's go low. Yeah. I had the wrong weapon. Oh god! Oh my, I think I just narrowly avoided those guys getting me. Okay, smart bullet and rapid. Great combo. Let's get some distance so we can take out the right people first. Those droids are absolute suckers. I think he launched his friend towards me. Oh, I don't think he was dead. Whoa! Every time I go up against these guys, like, I learn new things about what they can do. They might be my favorite one, to be honest. Uh, I remember that uh, on your live of Second Contact, I told you that the orange glowing plants I had to create where they represent the lost of Talan plants with the help of this essence. Absolutely. Exactly, that's the exact one, and I'm never forgetting that. But I'm not sure uh, this detail was canon, and it was a more cool way for me as an artist to place it. Well, it's canon now, because I keep talking about it. I think it's in my review, which is one of the most, like, well... One of the most well, um, like, I think that's got loads of views on my channel. Second highest uh, video on my channel, and it has that bit of uh, information on, so, you know. It's low now. <laughs> oh, I'm out of ammo for that one. Okay, so. You flipping scorpion, punk. Okay. Okay, he's dead. Love 
probably. Uh, that's a giant enemy crab coming right towards me, so I'm gonna duck away here. And just assault this guy in the hallways. Like I'm some schoolyard bully. Oh, someone's coming for me. Lovely. Buddy, I can see you. Whoop. Right between the eyes. <laughs> right between the eyes. Uh, just need to tell Fabian to put it into the law bible. Exactly. If it's in your view, then it is canon. Hell yeah. Um, my art station is basically empty, so you should have been very disappointed in that. <laughs> oh, this is not a good place for me to be! Ah! I'm in danger! <laughs> no! Oh god. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna run. There's so many of those guys in there that... are blooming deadly. I can't heal any more game! I'm just gonna have to assault people in the hallways. Oh, he's coming after me. I can hear him. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we just gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta get some. Ah! <laughs> oh! Uh. Oh, great. There's there's no door here. <laughs> We're so dead. <laughs> oh god. Uh. Just gotta run. Nowhere to run to, baby. Nowhere to hide. Oh God, I'm just being hit by unseen forces now. Just let me catch my breath. Just let me get out of here. Oh God, I've run back into one. Is that a door? <laughs> oh, the door's gone! Oh God, I'm just panicking. Anybody up here? Yeah, of course there is. Go away. I'm gonna run right into that crab, I know it. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we escape, we escape, we escape, we escape. So, no plant's gonna grow here. That that got a bit wild. <laughs> the overconfidence I have. <laughs> good lord! Uh Ooh, don't think I've been here before. I can pass it. I feel like I passed something. Then. Might be one of the things. Just that. Okay. Boom! It's one of those drills ready to drop. I've noticed the uh, some of the. Uh, I guess you could call them world events. These little sort of like world cutscenes that happen where things drop in. I've noticed they sometimes disappear. Uh, I, I'm sure that's on the Discord uh, on that, but uh, and crackets, which I really don't want to die from crackets. That'd be embarrassing. Woo. Uh oh, we got a crowded docking sequence going. Oh, <laughs> well that's new. <laughs> I've not seen that that way around before. <laughs> Maybe that should have disappeared. Uh, if you want to see a really cool art station there, uh, uh, that will have a lot of concept art for this game. You can follow Ralph uh, Villages. Again, I posted that wrong. Artwork, uh, art station. It sure will add drop by drop artwork. Is it? Yep. Oh, it is. Orbin is grilling Martin for for info. Or he's sneakily suggesting. <laughs> Let's get a little closer. <laughs> Everything okay? <laughs> well, I need this silly thing here because I ran out. So, just ignore me and I'll ignore you. <laughs> Hello, my chunky drafts. Look at that. So cool. Uh, oh. You guys have a couple of plants here for me. Yoink. But you really can see how much time you can just sort of sink into this game. And 
we've not done any story well obviously everything's moving towards the story but we've not seen any cutscenes uh, in this stream today uh, we've just been assaulting bases and that's been enough and just conversing so like it's it kind of is like a great game to just stream to be honest. Easy. That's a big shout out to Michael because, of course, art director did a really great job to make the artists, uh, make the artists uh, go who go into the right direction and being fair to the original. Absolutely, that's what it's all about. I've now moved the game screen because I, I accidentally clicked the wrong box. Apologies. Oh, what a tarty, tarty way of doing this. How are we doing? Oh, and I've called the Garand, uh, the Galenta accidentally. So, if anyone sees a massive uh, elephant, flying elephant, uh, descending from the heavens, don't be alarmed. It's just my friend. It's my child. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> All right. Oh. There's the wrist fields, which was such a delight coming across those. The cool thing was, is when I first came across them, they were like empty paddy fields, and then when a little later when I returned, yeah, these are growing. Like they were full of wrists. Um, just love that. Just really love that. <laughs> I think from the reviews, though, from what I've been seeing, like the art direction is like a massive one that has been getting so much. Um, Accolade, I guess, or praise is the better way of saying it. And I really do hope this game. Ah, you spotted me. You spotted me. I really do hope this game isn't ignored um, when it comes to review season. Because I know they're just going to look towards like the games that are uh, like the big ones this year. There's one that's just come out, I think, or just about to come out. Uh, oh, shit, here I can't remember but there's there's a few out and everything my problem is i never just i just never played the big games uh you have the collector's edition basically you have seen quite a lot of rafts ah okay i have yet to dive in there's my collector's edition there's the evidence of the collector's edition uh i haven't dived into the art book just yet uh, but i have some time after the stream i might i might dive into that all right how are we doing i would like hmm maybe a couple more plants yeah i'm quite curious um how much artwork was there because obviously like looking at a lot of the the uh, artwork made for the, the original sequel was released um like how much i'm guessing that was used quite a bit for like influence and everything Because there's a lots, lots of uh, Kazar's buildings, for instance, looks look very similar to the original artwork. I saw in that. Yeah, our books are quite spoiler territory. Ah, okay, maybe I won't then. <laughs> uh, how how spoiler are we talking in terms of what I've played so far? That's the real question. More about me. Okay, we're going to do our loop around again. Grab a couple of our plants and we'll go back to that facility. And the funny thing is, I know if I wasn't streaming, I'd be doing better. Because I still want to sort of like make sure that I'm engaged with the stream as well. <laughs> so it's like doing two things at once. Take it on these play these things. So the, these streams are not a, a good representation of my gaming skills. Um, I say that they probably are, to be honest. Like I'm 31, I think I'm supposed to be a bit, a bit shit at games at this point. <laughs> a bit zorty, I should say. Apologies. Shouldn't use real swear words. Uh, Raph was the main concept artist, and Jari joined the team at half of. 
uh, halfway through the production and also helped a lot with the concepts until the end of production. Um, that was in reply to Baldwin, who asked um, if that chap also had some pretty cool plants and creature, co uh, creature, co uh, creature concepts. And probably did stuff like uh, that for the game. Seemed like he and Ralph were a great team. Very nice. Just crack it. So good. Okay, we've got three. Hmm, we've got four plants. I think there might be a few more around here if I'm lucky. But I think that's a good... I say that's a good enough to go in, but... <laughs> some of these bases are bonkers. This one is like... Ugh. As soon as I'm seeing blooming runner boys with knives coming at me, I know I'm, I'm not in for a good time. Alright, we've got full health and five of the plants. Should be enough. We haven't got full ammo, but... When we kill robots and stuff, we'll get some back. I think I'm gonna try and maybe split some of them up. There's a lot in this place, though. Brought the whole battalion, huh? That crab is still like waiting <laughs> to destroy me. Yeah, let's. Oh, hello, Mr. Crab. We're, we're just gonna leave you to last, I think. Oh god! Oh god, that's not good. Oh, that's not good. Too. Where did you go? Oh, it's the crab again. Please. Okay. <laughs> Firing my bullets and like you just take the wheel. Okay, I don't think the crab can get one. I can't even know. Really. Okay, there's the crab. <laughs> Ooh! I ain't giving you a flipping inch! We deal with your kind. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Ah, what, what the hell is going on there? Oh, it was the crab launching projectiles. Okay. Who else we got? The shield is also good. Blooming punk. If someone is right I need to get inside for a little bit. Okay, so it looks like... Flipping heck. Wait, can they shoot me? Have you finished this five times over? I haven't! I'm sorry, Ant. Look, I got a big crab at the door. <laughs> I'm doing my best, okay? Oh, dear. I'm in a difficult area. At least it's difficult to me. It might be, like, just medium for the game. <laughs> I'm just being... I am literally just on the lookout for a giant enemy crab. I've made that joke already. All right, he's on the ground. Let's just assault him. 
that's what we got to do. We've got to find one at a time, smack them to the ground, and just stamp on them. And then do this. <laughs> All right, downstairs. This is where it got a bit dicey, from what I can remember. Empty. We can't be empty right now. We've got one of those guys there. Oh, he walked right through it. Crap. Okay, it's him down. Right, let's deal with this guy. <laughs> Stay down. <laughs> I, I still have not played the game myself because my Amazon pre-order Beginning of April? That sucks! Uh, I'm sorry to hear that. I've heard that Amazon's been having some problems with... Um, I've been hearing it's been having some problems getting that to people. And I thought I had it mo had it bad just for. Ooh. I thought I had it bad just due to blue. Oh God! Okay, let's. Ooh. Ten, is it? Oh no! Those flipping knifey dudes! I'm empty. Okay, he's dead. Back down the stairs. <laughs> Doing. I'm just waiting to get to the top of the stairs and watch me back down. Okay, I need to go. I need to go. Dead. No! <laughs> you got to be kidding me! Okay, we got a strength potion. Oh, we're back here. Missed. How could I miss? Okay. Once again, we just happen to leave. Although I think I've taken out most people, so I'm gonna try and do my best just to stay within here, because those those guys are quite slow. So I got a bit of time just to walk away from them and. <laughs> Might just be a bunch of defenders to be honest, or whatever they're called. Okay, I know you don't give health, but give something. And if I can just destroy this thing, that might give me the advantage I need. Uh, I'll probably be the last one to have it, yeah. Uh, but the little sigh, I brought. Has already has its place in my games library. Lovely. That's what we like to hear. Uh, uh, the game is, of course, already spoiled uh, a lot, but I still really enjoy seeing uh, the game with your perspective. Thank you. Uh, Orwin, I got mine yesterday and thought that was bad. Of course, I had it in bed. 
Whereabouts are you guys all located? Because obviously I'm in the UK. So I had a little bit of delay. Um, that was more just due to deliveries and stuff. So I, I would assume, Martin, you're Europe-based, right? I have worked on this game more... Uh, Okay, more than three years, I can't, I can't one month. Belgium. Oh, yeah, we go. Exactly where the game was. Well, it was still created in Belgium, this one, wasn't it? Oh, that was a lot. Okay, how are we looking? So we've we've done that aspect of it. I think we've still got... No, we've unlocked all of them. But we've got a few oh, bad guys that are still here. I think I can kill him. It's the one with the more crazier ranged attack is the problem. Gotcha. Oh, and the crab. <laughs> uh, Germany, slow internet, usually fast shipping. Yeah, it's great in Charleroi in Belgium indeed. Love it. That's probably a really lovely name. Uh, a lovely Belgian town name, and I just cannot pronounce it sadly. What is it phonetically? <laughs> Even then, there's no hope for me. I'm just worried I'm going to turn a corner, and that dude's just going to smack me down. I mean, I've definitely not got enough health to go after the crab. Just wait to hit like a, a wind up of a gun. I'm just dead. Right, so where's the secret room? The super secret room. Let's get ourselves a module. Doors open. Woo. That's quite cute. Uh, uh. Alright. Scope! Yes! Yeah! That's what I was hoping this game would have. Let's add the mother flipping scope on. Let's see what it's like. Right. Is it like a look down scope or is it. Is it just sort of bump and zooms in a little bit? Is that what the scope does? Um, gives the weapon sniper properties. <laughs> How do I use the sniper? <laughs> does it have sniper properties or does it keep within the sort of... What are we working for, guys? Anybody know about the sniper? How to get it working? Most likely, it's just for you the collector edition. It's just me, I guess. Dang! Uh, does the mine work with the charging and sniper shot? I mean, yeah. I'm trying to figure out what the extra button is to zoom in. Square. Triangle. Just change his gun. That jumps, X, circle, goes backwards. Yeah, or when you're probably best known for this. Although you played on PC, so. Maybe you just let us know if the sniper does actually think so. Because it doesn't have um, the Sebastian bag. Because it says uh, sniper properties. Show effects, maybe? Uh, replace auto fire by manual shot. Projectiles. Oh, no, that's reduced because of sniper properties. I'm guessing it just means. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. That's all right. We're just trying to figure out if the sniper thing actually means I can zoom in. Uh, and I can't see any button at the moment. There's nothing on screen that shows you. Sniper should just zoom in more, I think. Sensitive. 
fact they can't. They just got the the depth of field. Oh, depth of field was called the um, the field of view. Just gone. <laughs> ah well. You can't get everything. So I'm not. I obviously want to take out all the enemies. But I just gotta be so flipping careful with the. That guy up here. Because I think one of his shots might end me. Well, let's let's give it a try. Was he up here? I can't even remember which way it was. No, I think this is a different way. The crap's gonna come for me as soon as I step outside. <laughs> there he is. Inside, inside. Oh, hi! <laughs> oh my goodness, this charge shot was. Flip him, heck! That must have used up so much in the game, though. Hell yeah. I was looking up old uh, symbiosis concept. Seems like uh, that one enemy base is uh, probably sort of a memorial by Michael for that old project. Yeah, that, that was one that was sort of floating around the time of Outcast 2, right? I remember seeing stuff like that. There was Totems as well was another one. Miller Gaming, have you tried flipping the giant enemy crap over for massive damage? Well, I think it's a little too late for that now. But I'll try next time. <laughs> Have, who's outside? Yeah, they're all underground, aren't they? Can we take this elevator down? <laughs> uh, I didn't find any totems, Easter eggs yet, though. That would be a deep, deep reference. Totems is uh, in here somehow. I've still got a flipping take on the the laser boss as well. <laughs> like I need to go out and get more health again. That's what these battles become. It's just me panicking and then resource gathering. So Martin, when you were playing the game, uh, when you were making the game, was there much chance to actually play it or was it kind of the full game kept behind uh, closed doors of sorts. So I'm curious to see sort of... I can hear him. Okay, he's dead. Oh, he's right there. He's literally right there. Okay, if I stay out... Okay. <laughs> well, look at some totem screens. Some of those pillars actually seem familiar from the Essence Shrines. Hmm. Very interesting. I always, I'm trying to listen out for. There is one enemy left, but. Oh no, they did just move then. They're moving around the map, I can see them. I just can't see them lit up anywhere. <sighs> Could you imagine if it's a blooming runner? Does it go any deeper? I 
I think maybe an enemy may have fallen through the map. I could have played the full game at any moment, but I have uh, had a massive game to create. <laughs> uh, so I played the game a few times to give some feedback and help the QA team, but it didn't really play the game. Yeah, so good man. Yeah, I think this last enemy might be just stuck somewhere. Because I can't see them. I feel like I can hear them sometimes. So I'm just going to guess they're just not appearing. But yeah, I need to go and get more health. Because... <laughs> There's no way I'm going to be able to... To take on the drills. Uh, I played... Uh, Okay, there is something out here. There he is. Take it all back. There's two of them. Excuse me. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> you lose. <laughs> nice. I played most of the beginning of the game and some missions, but very little great story. I hear. Right, the music is still tense because I imagine those. Dr <laughs> this little rat! Ooh, <laughs> that charge shot is ridiculous now. Uh, cool. There we go. <laughs> now, just have to collect some sweet, sweet plants. Uh, I know there was some behind me, which are probably regrown now. And hopefully no one's going to respawn for a little while. I'm here. Oh. I'm sending you new coordinates. You want to reach this location ASAP. Oh. I got a lot on my plate. I do have What's this plate. about? I don't know. But the general himself is en route. Whatever my people found in that town, it must be important. All right. I'll have a look. In Stay that town? Alpha officer, Where is it trying to get Jack me to go? Want you alive. I'm a Navy SEAL trained in advanced surveillance and stealth techniques. No one is catching me alive. Nor dead. Slayed out. You say stealth techniques? Didn't know that was part of the game. <laughs> Spy on General Jack. So where's that then? Oh, it's in Procreana. That's interesting. Did you secure any vitality for the El Mayel? I'm on it. Uh, wait for my signal. And yes, I did. <laughs> that was my plan, was it? Okay, so we're gonna. What we're gonna do, we're gonna collect the plants, heal up, um, then we're gonna take on the drills and we'll call it a day. I'm feeling optimistic that I might be able to take on the drill right now, but if it's a little harder than the last drill, then I'm gonna get my ass kicked. Uh, probably the team plays the game a lot more after the job. Uh, after my job was completed on this project, as the games were way more used, uh, way more finished, and need more feedback, bug tracking, yeah, understandable. So, what other games outside of the Outcast franchise uh, have you been on? Because was it, what well, did you go straight from Second Contact onto this game? Or was there something in between? Because I mean, there there was a gap, right, between the the two. Um, two games when they were trying to figure things out between Big Ben and uh, Thingamajig. THQ Nordic. The Saviors! <laughs> Hello crack it, so I don't really have That's any time for good. today. Because I'm... Tr no... I think we got enough for the drill. 
And also feel free to report all the bugs, glitches and stuff you find during your playthrough because the team is really hard working on fixing, so any reports will help. Indeed, I've got the um, THQ Nordic uh, bug reporting thing. Um, every time someone on Reddit sort of like, oh, this happened, I send them that just to let them know. Like, this is the best thing you can do. Or if they have Discord. Or something like that. I think it's Discord. Alright, here we go. Destroy the drill. Well, we're good for a second, so let's collect some of this stuff. Boom, boom, boom. Here we go. Let's do like a massive charge shot <laughs> in hopes that we'll like smack down a massive, a massive amount. Dang it, didn't. Well, this is. Oh shit, I always go at this. I'm just gonna avoid you. This is, the, this is what I'm really here for. Oh god. Oh god. I just flare. Look! They're changing the. Ah! <laughs> no, get out of the freaking way, Adam. Right one. Collect the blooming good stuff. You're fine, I don't mind you. We got this, we got this. Yeah. It's a little more manic than the first one, but once you get that rhythm, classic. classic. Woo! Lovely. There's my Helidium reward, which I think I'll be able to upgrade something now. Oh no, I did that at the beginning, didn't I? And maybe I have two on Yep, no, I'm good. I'm good. Ooh, 666 six, six for the, the other stuff. Spooky number. <laughs> uh, I wanted to get a battery, I think. That would be cool to get that. That's 300. I don't think I need another battery thing would be good. Batteries! Boink! Lovely. 
Um, blah, 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 blah. Right, let's read some stuff because... Martin. Uh, there was a little time gap between those two games, mostly because the team was on other projects, but also because of pre-production talks of THQ and so on. Yeah. Uh, I'm right. Were you guys working on... Um, was it Gangs of Sherwood? Is that what it's called? That was that was you guys, wasn't it? That was appeal doing that. Which is crazy to think about. I just did game. Boom! 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 Check me out. All right. Anyway, where's that? Uh, Twenty past nine. A bit longer than I wanted, but that's fine. Uh, Woo! What I really want to do. Get onto here. Alright, we go. One, two, three, four. Woo! And once more. Two, three. <laughs> and then. Woo! That goes down so fast. I need to get my 300 Lydium. <laughs> There we go. Cool. So, the things we have next to do. Um, obviously, we've got... We have the Daramon Forbidder, but taking out all the drills will be a massive help to them. But we can't finish the final one there because it's not unlocked yet. So, I think we've got to do more stuff. Uh, obviously, we can do that one. Um, we've got somewhere... We've got a story based, uh, based thing here in Procreana. And, uh, yeah, I think... I think I think we're good for Kazar at the moment. There's just other things we have to wait on, but yeah, there we go. We've got a few things to explore um, in this region here. There's a temple and fun stuff here which we haven't discovered yet. So yeah, uh, it was more smaller scope projects, but allowed the team to slowly grow and gain experience before jumping, or should I say, gliding into the real deal, which was excuse me, this game. <laughs> Love to hear that. Thank you, Martin. Okay. So, we'll call it there. But I will be on tomorrow evening, and I'm going to do a stinking long one till midnight, which will be past midnight for you guys. <laughs> uh, it'll be a long stream tomorrow, I think. It'll be fun. But thank you all for watching. I've been Adam, and I've had another bloody great time playing Outcast A New Beginning. Loving this game. Love being able to just dive into this world and just, just have a blast. Because, yeah, it's really fun. Slowly whittling away, bringing back uh, everything. You know, bringing back the world. That's what we like to see. So, thank you all for watching. Thank you, Martin. Love having you here. And see you later, Ant. Catch you later, dude. See you later, why not? And I think... Uh, uh, I'm trying to think. Autumn's... You're probably in here as well somewhere, but... Goodbye to you as well. So, thank you all guys for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And also... For everybody who's watching outside of stream, I'll see you next time under the moons. See you later. Out of it, slave, Would you something. stop interrupting me, Cutter, when every time I do these cool offs? God damn you. See you later. Under the moons. Next time under the moons. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> oh dear. How do I work in these conditions?